Oh, I see a whole bunch right here. Let's take a look at this. I don't see anything that stands out there. These are all 99 cents each? Huh? These are all 99 cents each? Uh, I think most of them are. Okay. Oh man, if that works, John could be a very happy kid. That's good school. It takes more of a job. Ooh, it's kind of weird. Ooh, dirty people. Stranger, dirty film. Figures looks very collectible. Got a wet sir right there. That is the Spider Silver Series 2. I might get that. Big Country Nelson right there. Uh, you got Jose Aldo, Jose Aldo, Chris Levin, and John Jones. Definitely get the John Jones one. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another exciting thrift store comic book haul episode number six so i stopped by two value village locations as you guys saw in the earlier footage i went through comics and some of their toy section let's see what i finally decided to purchase this is from the first value village haul got a whole bunch of nice comics right there i think some of most of those you already guys already seen and i even bought one of these uh, mariners 
troll bobblehead all the way from I think this dates back in 1997 or something like that when it was popular. So what I typically do is with these hauls is I buy collectibles, mainly comics, but sometimes I find some collectible figurines and stuff like that. And I put it on my J underscore rule eBay store to sell. Make sure you check me out on my eBay channel, all right? Let's put that off to the side. Here are all the comics. It's all bagged and boarded. Got to protect them. And with the other value village, I bought a whole bunch of UFC figurines, which I will probably keep or also sell on my eBay store. We're going to start out with the UFC Championship, John Bones Jones. He needs to stay off those drugs for real. He is very talented, but he just needs to get over that hump. I will admit he's the greatest fighter of all time. Check it out. Very rare figurine to have. This is a Championship Edition. I seriously doubt anybody can beat John Jones. Maybe a taller version of Conor McGregor, perhaps. The same height and reach. And we got one of these um, Ultimate Collector UFC. This is the rare edition of Chris Lieben. I think he's also called the Crusher. He retired, a uh, crippler, I meant. He retired uh, like a couple of years ago. He was, he was never my greatest. One of my favorite fighters, but he was entertaining with knockout power. So I'll put that out to the side right here. Forgot to mention that John Bone Jones is a freak in the athlete athletic sense. And here is one of my all time, um, used to be my favorite fighter, Anderson, Anderson the Spider Silva. This is the variant edition, I believe. Uh, with him with his clothes on right there all right it's also a good to have and it only cost me how much did I paid it 4.99 that's a crazy deal I think when it first came out it cost like 12.99 here's the back of the series all right enough about the toys Amara in the background right there all right or maybe in the foreground wherever you like all right we're gonna get to the comic books um, so the other stack comics I went through at a counter, the hidden about the wise on anything valuable and most prices were like they weren't asking for any ridiculous price. You guys saw it was like 99 cents or whatever. Why even hide in the back? Maybe they just want to pre prevent kids from opening up. That's my guess. Hey, well, thank you for joining us. Do you like this new setup right here? Doesn't look a lot better. I I'm ordering some uh, special lights and stuff, so I have a brighter lighting and also backdrops. You know. Um, just to get better lighting and shadow, all that stuff, you know. So I'm going to do a little bit of studying on how to do better YouTubing. And eventually I'll probably use the special effects using green screens and stuff. All right, enough talk. Let's get into the combo haul. Here is Aquaman number one. Very nice. I think somebody got rid of their own private collection. He was definitely a huge DC fan with a lot of these new 52 issues. Very nice. Jeff Johns and great art by Ivan Reyes right there. Good to have, especially with the upcoming Justice League and also um, movies. Not sure if Aquaman can have his own, but I heard that The Rock is going to play Black Adams. Make sure you Google that. He looks pretty, pretty um, amazing in the Black Adam costume. Here is Batwing number one. I'm not sure this actually took off, but I decided to just buy it because, as it turns out, at half price books you get buy four get one free. So I had to pick something, and might as well went, I went with number one Batwing. Yeah, I'm not sure what's the story behind Batwing. There are too many Batman related characters. Very nice one right here. This is number one on Blue Beetle, the new 52. I've never been a huge fan of Blue Beetle. But he's kind of like, um, he's kind of like Spider-Man, DC's version, where he cracks jokes and stuff, you know, and with, you know, not outrageous powers, but definitely weaker than Spider-Man for sure. Oh, by the way, if you guys want a good site to read comics, make sure you go to readcomicsonline.com. I actually finished reading the whole set, 24 issues of Image Comics. They were sword from the, from the um, um, Jonas Brothers. They are amazing writers and creators. Oh my goodness, I got so hooked reading that. By the way, I'm going to be doing more comic-related videos, not just comic book hauls. I'm going to be talking about like upcoming videos. Uh, uh, video logs, upcoming movies, and also I'm hosting a new series called Rare Era Comics. S speaking of that, it's going to be one of these. 
This is Green Lantern number one, the new 52. Can you guys spot the error right here? Look carefully. What's wrong with the cover right here? Are you guys noticing something on this side of the head? Yes, that's a teardrop error variant. Um, the regular variant shouldn't have this teardrop right here. Where it's like an ink spot. See that? They recalled it because some of them got into production. And I think I have a few copies. Hopefully I have to, one of each so I can make a comparison. And the Green Lantern Corps number one. You got Kilowog, um, Guy Garner. Uh, I forgot who, who the black dude is, but different versions of the Green Lantern. Forming Green Lantern Corps. Justice League International number one. You know, you got Booster Go, Batman. Um, who else is in here? Guy Garner. Oh, some of these characters I don't, I'm not too familiar with because I've never been a huge DC fan. And here is a good one to have, Justice League number two. Check out that awesome Jim Lee art. Um, I, I seriously think somebody took number one. Otherwise, I would have definitely gotten that. And here's a very nice cover featuring Wonder Woman in the front. Jim Lee, definitely top five artists of all time. And I need to make that video. I could, I could tell you guys right now, I'm going to make the top five greatest artists, according to me, of all time. And we got Red Lantern number one. Very lucky to have that. Don't see this too often in comic book stores. Yes. Hopefully they don't make a movie about Red Lantern. And last but not least, this is one of the free ones I picked up. This is uh, Superman Batman number 50 with a special big issue right there. Very nice art. And that concludes the another episode of Exciting. Thrift Store Combo Haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe for more exciting combo hauls and food review and product reviews. Alright. Take care of yourselves and happy collecting.